Hello all, in this video we shall review the new A6 GSM module introduced by AI Thinker, the developers of the famous ESP8266 module. On front side is the small stub antenna, at the back side is the SIM slot, here you can place a valid SIM and then lock it. The small black IC is the power regulator IC seen near the SIM slot. This is the pin diagram of A6 GSM module. We make use of VCC, TX, RX, power key, ground and then reset pins. We make use of an USB to TTL board to connect to the PC. This is the USB to TTL board built on CP2102 IC for which a driver is uh, required to be installed. You connect the VCC wire to power key. This will act as chip enable. And then connect the TX of uh, A6 module to RX of uh, USB to TTL module. And the RX of A6 to TX of uh, USB to TTL module. Ground is made common between these two modules. Only three wires are required for the connection. You can connect a wire to the reset pin. If a reset is required, this pan, a pin can be momentarily touched to ground to give a hardware reset. Now connect the USB to TTL board to the PC. You can make use of a 5V 2A adapter to power up the GSM module. This is much like a cell phone adapter, but you need 5V 2A. Open the device manager and note down the COM port allotted to the USB to TTL board. Here it is COM2. Open the terminal software, select this COM2 and then select baud rate as 115200. This is the default baud rate of uh, A6 GSM module. Click on connect. Wait for 10 seconds for the GSM module to boot up. Once you see CREG1, the module is ready. Now we shall try to send the AT command. Type in AT and click on send. There will be no response. This is because the A6 GSM module requires a carriage return after every AT command. This can be uh, done using the set macro facility of the uh, terminal software. Here you can type in AT followed by a dollar sign and then 0D. This is the ASCII for carriage return. You can store it in uh, M1. Now if you press M1, AT will be sent along with the carriage return. Now you get OK response. If you check up the ASCII table, you can see 0D is the uh, ASCII for carriage return. Same way you can use the set macro to store the other commands. ATD followed by the phone number semicolon is not required is stored in m2 ath followed by dollar sign and 0d is stored in m3 now if you press on m2 the number is called press m3 ath command is sent to disconnect the call to send sms uh, to store the at plus cmgf equal to 1 and then at plus cmgs equal to phone number within double quotes if you press on M4, it is set to text mode and the M5 uh, will give a, a greater than symbol and wait for the message. You type in the message to be sent. Now a control Z is required to be sent. You check the ASCII table. 1A is the ASCII code for control Z. So after the message, you type in dollar sign and then 1A. Now if you press the send button, the message is sent to the uh, phone. Thank you for watching.